in this there video we're going to look into a method for shooting fireballs and this comes from the fact that when i was making the apcp rocket fuel several uh, videos ago um, it was extremely powerful and recognizing its power and speed instead of using it for just rocket engines i was hoping to light it and direct only the fuel which happened a couple times with these rockets i was building and not to have a real engine housing so with that in mind I'm hoping to find a way to shoot fireballs, which is actually the APCP rocket fuel. So to do this in our materials, we need APCP rocket fuel. And this is for ammonium perchlorate composite propellant. That's APCP. So of course it has ammonium perchlorate in it, aluminum and silicone. And if you want to look more into this and some of the details of the mixes, you can look at the video that I made about making rocket fuel out of this stuff. I need a metal pipe somewhere between 5 eighths and 7 eighths, I'm thinking an end cap of some sort, a method to light this, and some hand holds. So this is my method here. Take the pipe, plug it up somehow, I have no idea. I could do this on the inside with maybe a cork or a metal ball or something, and then uh, also on the outside by cupping the outside with some sort of protector. Either way, this will have to be obviously strong. Uh, drill a hole somewhere in here where I can insert a fuse. And I think what I'm going to do when I make these, I'll make rolls of this uh, fuel here, cut it into segments, and then just slide the segments down until they hit the fuse because this stuff lights really easy. That way, lighting the fuse will like this, which will hopefully shoot out here. And lastly, hand holds. Now, not knowing exactly how this will turn out, this is going to be somewhat of a process. So please be patient as I go ahead and try to shoot fireballs. To make our fireball slash rocket propellant mix, I'm going to use the APCP, which stands for Ammonium Perchlorate Composite Propellant Rocket Fuel. And this is the mix that I used in another video where I made this <clears throat> in varying um, amounts of these three chemicals here. And it's important to note the last one is silicone, not silicon. They're two different things entirely. So silicone is the basic stuff that you would use to seal something. Silicon is a semiconductor, of course, used in electronics. So I'm going to start by putting four grams right on this piece right here, measuring it. Here I have my two grams of aluminum, and here I have my 14 grams of ammonia perchlorate. So here I start with exactly four grams of the silicone. I'll be adding both of these to this and mixing them in. It seems impossible, but it, they will get mixed in here. And I have to start quickly because within 30 minutes, this will cure enough that I can't work with it. So I'm going to start. By the way, this aluminum is going to be wrapped around what I hope to be a roll of this rocket fuel. And then I'll just cut it up like sausages. I've got the aluminum mixed in. You can see this is a very messy procedure. I'm just finishing up with the last of the ammonium perchlorate here. And uh, eventually this turns in sort of a putty, which can be handled with gloves um, and formed easily. So I'm going to keep doing this until it's thoroughly mixed in. Be back. I'm done mixing it. It's become a putty. And I'm going to roll it here on this aluminum foil. This stuff will stick to any table while it's silicone. So Weak hydrochloric acid will clean it nicely if you have a problem. I cut a small piece of aluminum, just the right size, so that this will stick out either end where the fuse might touch it when it's inside that metal tube. And even though I don't have a traditional housing for this rocket fuel, I'm going to wrap it up like this. I think it will slide down that tube easier in the beginning. I don't want to make it too thick, though. Okay, there we have it. Okay, it cured. This is the next day. That uh, roll was five and a quarter inches long, which if you divide by three, turns out to be exactly one and three quarters inches. So... Kind of an odd fraction there, but that's what I did. Each of these is that size and with an open end where that fuse can touch. Here's a test shot just to make sure that it's safe and there's no fire coming out the end here, whereas where I plan on putting the handle. So the fuse is in there, it's straight up and down. Here's the end. I'm gonna put this in here. Just shot it down. I could hear it ended right there, and I'm gonna light it. Hmm, didn't quite
quite go as far as I thought it would. I think the biggest problem is that this tube is just too wide and not enough pressure can build up on the bottom before it shoots out. So I can either make a thinner tube or maybe I can modify those little rocket engine things. After some thought, I think this is what I'm going to do. This is the original pipe with the cork and then the nickel I put in there. I found a smaller pipe, thinner one I should say. It's rather long, but these little um, engine fireball things fit in it really nicely. So I'm going to take uh, the end of the pipe there, wrap it up because there's a couple holes here and make it so that nothing can get out as far as the exhaust and fire from the fireball. Um, and then I'm going to put the engine in there and I'm going to put the entire long pipe in here so it still stops up against the fuse and can be lit right here. Here's the metal pipe I was talking about here. I put some masking tape on the end here. There are a couple holes that I needed to cover. That's in there already. So if I take this like so, grab this pipe here, and then insert it on level ground so that engine doesn't come out of it until it gets to the bottom here, like so. And then put it back up here. We'll see if that narrower pipe will help or not, which uh, extends quite a bit further out of there. Okay, test number two. Hey, look at that. Instead of a nickel, I ground down a penny fit on the end of the cork that I'm going to place in there. I'm going to glue the end of the cork with this penny, like so. That'll protect it from the heat that forms, and then cover the cork with this high temperature silicone. I once again drilled a 964 inch uh, drill hole there, just larger than an eighth of an inch uh, cannon fuse, and I have one of these left right here, so let's go try it. I'll set up the same way as with the other pipe. Put the fireball down there. To ensure that that lights every time, I took a fuse and I rolled it in some rubber cement and then into some flash powder here. So I put the fireball down in there and you can see some of that flash powder came off when I put the fuse in, but I'm hoping it all still lights and helps the fireball light. In addition to messing around with the pipe, I'm going to change the mix to this mix right here, which I also did originally when I was making the rocket engines with this stuff. And this was far too um, energetic to use for a rocket engine, but hopefully it'll work better for what we're trying to do here. This is the new roll made of the composition above. I did it exactly like I did the first rolls. Here's a short test stick of the, there we go, of the second mix. Lighting. The second mix. All right, a little better actually. Boy, have things changed. We had that big fat pipe, then we had the skinny long one, now the skinny short one. So I'm going to be putting this half in there and then lighting it. Lighting the second mix, but the piece cut in half on a shortened pipe. Might be changing too many variables at once. I don't think so. That was awesome. As I now believe this is uh, safe to shoot by holding it, I drilled a hole of uh, 5 8 same size as the pipe, that that will fit into. And then I'm going to fasten this behind it just to protect my face. This is just top of a can. Handle and shield are complete. I put one screw through the can top, then through the wood, and then into the cork that was behind this, of course, when we started. And there's the little hole for the fuse. This is the second mix again, the longer piece. Hey, not bad. Okay. I got an idea now. Evidence of that last fireball.
Hope you enjoyed it.